Hi there. So I recently got a new thumb rest for my clarinet in the past uh, two months. And I did a fun little review for some of my friends who actually really enjoyed it. And even my non-clarinetist friends thought that it was pretty helpful to them. Um, my band director friends found some good uh, information from it. So I thought I would just redo the video in a more professional and public way to share with you all. So I'm going to talk to you about the uh, Ton Kuiman Maestro Thumbrest. It comes in this box and this is what it looks like. If you can see. So um, first a little bit of background. Um, I've been playing the clarinet for, goodness, um, about 15 years now um, since I was in middle school, and I just started my first year of my doctorate at FSU in clarinet performance. So I've been playing for a long time, and I play very frequently. Um, in the past couple of years or so, I noticed that I had been getting some um, pain in my, um, my tendon here on my thumb and into my, um, my hand, my, in my wrist on the side right here. And so that's what prompted me into looking into a new thumb rest option. Um, and so I came across this after doing a lot of research and um, I ended up switching. So part of the reason I was getting that pain was because clarinets, when you buy them at first, um, the thumb rest is not really in an ideal position. And I'll show you why. So if you relax your hands by your side and completely relax, and then you pick up your hand, your hand is in its natural relaxed state when when I lifted it up. And so what that is, is my, my fingers are naturally curved and my thumb is pretty much um, kind of even with my pointer finger when I hold it up straight. And then also my thumb is pointing up um, diagonally. And so that's your natural hand position when you pick your hands up and hold a clarinet, you're, that's how you would like your hands to stay, is in the natural relaxed position. But clarinet thumb rests, how they come, don't really allow for that exactly. So thumb rests on a clarinet, um, so this is if this is your relaxed hand position, um, a clarinet thumb rest is actually lower than where your tone holes are in the front, so where your front fingers need to be is on the tone holes or hovering over them. And so you would like for your thumb to be able to be kind of parallel position to this pointer finger and diagonally pointed up, but your thumb rest is actually lower, so immediately your natural hand position is changed into an unnatural hand position. And then immediately, so just by my thumb going down, it's pointing down and I immediately have tension through this area in here. Okay, so that's issue number one. Issue number two is that your thumb rest is resting um, more toward the tip of your thumb. Not exactly on the tip, but closer to the tip than closer to this base joint here and then also you have weight all your weight is on this thumb here so and it's all right here so immediately like adding in all of those factors you have just a bunch of tension through here um, and then that creates tension even in your your the front of your hand as well in your fingers and then um, so that's why clarinetists are prone, especially in their right arm, to soft tissue damage, tendonitis, carpal tunnel, things like that. So I've been doing a lot of clarinet playing, and over the past couple of years, I've been developing pain 
in this area. Um, sharp pain that's become more and more frequent. And so I decided over the summer that I need to do something about it. Um, and I've used a neck strap um, since I was in high school, so for about 10 years. Um, so that's a long time playing a neck strap with a neck strap. Um, some people get their thumb rests um, moved up on their clarinet so that they can move their thumb back up toward that natural position. But all the weight still is in this spot of your thumb here too. And so I've never done that, so I can't really speak from experience how that works or not. I know it works for a lot of people. Um, you, you get it professionally done by someone who deals with that kind of stuff. Um, I've heard that you're more prone to needing a neck strap after you do that if you weren't using a neck strap before um, because your, your forearm gets a little more tired. But um, that might not be the case for everyone. That's kind of just what I've heard from a few people. Um, but uh, I was already using a neck strap. And so I did a lot of research as to kind of what I could do to fix this problem. And I found this thumb rest. And I've been playing on it now for a couple of months. And I really love it. So I'll show you why I love it. Um, so I love it for a, a number of reasons. So you know how I said um, when you buy a clarinet, the thumb rest is uh, too low. Well, this thumb rest, it's, first of all, it's detachable. So um, when you buy it, it just comes with this part. Um, so the thumb rest itself. And then two of these um, Allen wrenches to adjust it. Um, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. And then it comes with the plate. And so you have to get the plate professionally installed by someone who's qualified to drill and put screws into your clarinet, not drill, but screw a metal plate into your clarinet. Um, and then, uh, and it comes with two plates so that you can put one on your A clarinet and one on your B flat clarinet, which most clarinetists have. Um, and then just one thumb rest, so you can put it on your B flat, and then when you switch to your A, you just slide it off and put it on your A clarinet. And so, um, so that's what I've been doing. And it just is really easy. I'm doing this left-handed, and it's still pretty easy. And it just slides on there. Um, so because it slides on there, it's um, adjustable here with this screw right here, and then this screw um, on the bottom here, that adjusts the height. And you can put it wherever you want, higher, lower, it's all dependent on your hand position. Um, and that's what I love about this thumb rest is that it is so customizable in a million different ways that it is specific to your hand position. I don't think anybody else could pick up my clarinet and feel comfortable with it because of how I've adjusted this. It's very, very specific to just my hands, um, which is good, a good thing. Um, so you can adjust it, the height, in that way. So I already instantly have fixed one issue with a typical clarinet thumb rest. So now it's higher. So now, when I pick my clarinet up, I'm gonna turn my computer a little bit, my thumb is now pointed up, which is our natural position that we want, um, instead of pointed down with a lower thumb rest. So that's issue number one, fixed. Um, and then you can adjust it a million different ways with these Allen wrenches, and there's little, um, kind of screws type things. So um, here and here and then in here and then in here and then even one right here. So you can adjust it many, many different ways. This moves side to side. Um, this is a ball socket, so it swivels um, 
this way, this way, and diagonally and all ways in between. This is also a ball socket, so it does the same thing. So it can tilt this way or forward and back. Um, and then there's a joint here as well. So this arm moves out and in as well. So there's like an infinite number of adjustments that you can make to this to get it completely comfortable to your hands. Um, and so, um, so that's really the best thing about it. Um, if you notice, it has this extra little gadget over here. So you don't just have a spot for your thumb to go. You have this extra thing over here. And what that is, is it shifts the weight of my clarinet from being right here on the end of my thumb to being over here more toward this base joint, this knuckle on my thumb. So it shifts the weight over to kind of a more stable and stronger part of my thumb. Um, so that fixes basically all the other problems. So my thumb is now in a natural position. It's, it's um, up higher, it's pointed up, and all the weight is over here now instead of over here. And so um, it's really, just really natural feeling, really comfortable, and it's really free now because I don't use a neck strap. Um, this thumb rest isn't really made for that. And it actually fixed um, a lot of my problems to where I don't even feel like I need an extra. So um, after I got the thumb rest, uh, it took me about four or five days to kind of um, adjust accordingly every day until it felt really comfortable on my thumb because there's so many little adjustments that it takes a little bit of time to really find the right combination for you. So um, don't be discouraged if you do end up getting this thumb rest and it does take you some time to find the right adjustments because that's just part of the process. Um, and thankfully I had someone who uh, I talked to about this thumb rest who gave me that advice. So I wasn't too frustrated in the process. Um, and then after I found the right position, um, it took me a little while to adjust to just having this complete change. So I didn't have a, a neck strap anymore and it just felt very different. Um, my forearm muscles apparently were a little bit weak in using a neck strap because for about two weeks after I switched to this thumb rest, I was getting a little bit of soreness in my forearm muscles. So just, just in here. Um, and it, it was just muscle soreness. So that's the difference. It wasn't pain. It wasn't sharp pain. It was just my arm was tired. And I think it was just because my muscles weren't used to doing what they were doing now with this new thumb rest. So that after about a couple weeks, that completely went away. And so now I can practice actually for longer periods of time um, than I could before. I haven't had any pain in my hand or in my wrist, which prior to making this switch two months ago, I was getting pain weekly, if not daily. Um, and I could only practice for really small amounts of time. So I had to decrease my practice session times basically every day. Um, and so I haven't had any of that in two months. And I practice way more now that I've started my, my DM degree at FSU. Um, I practice way more now than I was practicing over the summer and before I got this thumb rest. So um, if I were to get any pain, I'm pretty sure it would have shown up by now. Um, and so I just, I really recommend this product because it just feels very freeing. I don't have a neck strap, so I don't feel kind of restrained in that area. 
My hand is in a natural position, so I feel more free in that way as well. And it's just very comfortable, and I fixed a lot of my hand problems just by switching to this thumb rest. So full disclosure, this product was $250, and so I paid for that. But then I also paid for the installation of both the metal plates on both of my clarinets, which was $100 each. So all in all, I invested um, $450 in this new thumb rest for both of my clarinets, which is uh, on the pricier side. But for me, it was fully worth it. Um, before I made this switch, I basically had to stop practicing. And so, I mean, this is my career and what I'm going to school for. I just started my doctorate. And so, um, you know, that wasn't really something that I could afford to do was just stop playing or play less. Um, if anything, I needed to play more. So for me, definitely worth it. Now I'm playing, you know, four plus hours a day and I have no hand pain at all. So it was definitely worth how much I paid for it. Um, I personally, I got the installation done by Alcides Rodriguez um, with Rodriguez Musical Services. I've been going to him for years and years. So shout out to him for doing that. He actually also uses this thumb rest and gave me a lot of good advice for how to adjust it and how to get used to it. So um, I highly recommend him, but any qualified um, clarinet repair person or anyone who does you know, really good overhauls could do something like this. So, um, but you do have to get it professionally installed. So there is that extra cost there. But I highly recommend this product. I'm so happy with it. And I hope you enjoyed my little review and sort of crash course in clarinet hand position. Thanks.